Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to morning prayer. It's uh, Wednesday, the 18th of November. It's great to be with you. And uh, as people uh, join this morning, we're going to just take a few moments uh, to allow people to to log in and, uh, and make sure that they're connected today. I'll make sure that I'm... You can hear me, which I think you can, which is great. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's lovely to be with you this morning um, on a slightly chilly, slightly dark day. It's one of those uh, days you can tell we're drawing to the, the shorter days of the year, but it's, uh, it's still lovely waking up on a morning like today. So good morning, Diana and Leslie, and all of you who are joining us uh, this morning. I always appreciate the, uh, the tech updates, Leslie, making sure that you can hear me. That's brilliant. Um, but it's great to be with all of you. Good morning, Stephen, and, and good morning, Roy, as well. Um, this morning is it's Wednesday, which means uh, something a bit different. Um, Wacky Wednesdays, as uh, Reverend Debs coined it all those, all those months ago. Um, so we're going to think about praying um, with rainbows today. Uh, rainbows have been such a, an important symbol over the last, um, sort of, well, however long it has been, since March, really. And uh, even this morning, the first thing that Eva said to me this morning was that she wanted to read her book, which is, uh, I know this is backwards again, but uh, Hope the Rainbow Fairy, uh, which is specifically about uh, the rainbows um, that were people were putting up in their windows during the first lockdown. So it's, it's a, a symbol which is going to be um, resonating with us for, for years to come about this time. Uh, but it also reminds us of the, the promise uh, of God's hope, um, hope in God and, and that he, he will never leave us. And so I thought we'd pray using a rainbow this morning. And I've got um, the kids have a rainbow which I'm bound to drop, um, but they have a rainbow which I shall be using to help us pray. Um, but as usual, um, it will be great to, uh, um, for you to, to share your prayer requests in the comments as well as we pray together. So we'll start our, our time of morning prayer. And um, if you would like to join along with the, the readings and follow those, um, as I know some of you do, then uh, we will be reading Psalm 56 um, and then we will be continuing in the book of Revelation um, in chapter 11 and it's uh, verse 15 to the end of the chapter and so we will read those together today. So let's, let's start our time now and remind ourselves that the Lord is good, a strong refuge when trouble comes. God is close to those who trust in him. O oh Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. So as we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, God, Set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And so uh, our first reading that we're going to be reading today is in uh, Psalm, the book of, well, the Psalms, and it is chapter 56, and it's about King David. And it's one of the, the history uh, Psalms. So we will read together Psalm 56. Be merciful to me, my God, for my enemies are in hot pursuit. All day long they press their attack. My adversaries pursue me all day long. In their pride, many are attacking me. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you, in God whose word I praise. In God I trust, and I am not afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? All day long they twist my words. All their schemes are for my ruin. They conspire, they lurk, they watch my steps, hoping to take my life. Because of their wickedness, do not let them escape. In your anger, God, bring the nations down. Record my misery, list my tears on your scroll. Are they not in your record? Then my enemies will turn back when I call for help. By this, I will know that God is with me and God is for me. In God, whose word I praise, in the Lord, whose word I praise, in God I trust and am not afraid, what can man do to me? 
I am under vows to you, my God. I will present my thank offerings to you, for you have delivered me from death and my feet from stumbling, that I may walk before my God in the light of life. And so we pray in response to that psalm. Hopefully we don't have enemies like David did, but we pray in God I trust and will not fear. Faithful God, your deliverance is nearer than we know. Free us from fear and help us to find courage in your word. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. And now our second uh, reading is from the book of Revelation, continuing what we've been reading throughout November. And we are reading chapter 11, starting at verse 15, and reading to the end of the chapter. And it's entitled The Seventh Trumpet. The seventh angel sounded his trumpet, and there were loud voices in heaven which said, The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Messiah, and he will reign for ever and ever. And the twenty-four elders who were seated on their thrones before God fell on their faces and worshipped God, saying, We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, the one who is and who was, because you have taken your great power and have begun to reign. The nations were angry, and your wrath has come. The time for, has come for judging the dead and for re rewarding your servants, the prophets, and your people who revere your name, both great and small, and for destroying those who destroy the earth. Then God's temple in heaven was opened, and within his temple was seen the ark of his covenant. And there came flashes of lightning, rumblings, peals of thunder, an earthquake, and a severe hailstorm. And this morning, I found we've been given a different responsory to, uh, to share. So I'm going to just copy that as we reflect on those words from Revelation. And I'll pop that in the comments so that if you would like to say this with me, you can. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. The heavens bear witness to your wonders. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. The assembly of your saints proclaims your truth. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Steadfast love and faithfulness go before you. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. And so we come to our time of, of intercessory prayer. And please do share uh, the names of those who you would like us to, to pray for this morning. Any situations which are on your heart at the moment, um, people that you know really need support during this time. And uh, whether it be related to lockdown or anything else, please do share those, those names. But as I say, we will be praying using a, a rainbow this morning, which has become that symbol of hope for so many more than, than just um, those of us that already recognised it as the symbol of hope after the flood. Um, and uh, the kids have this great uh, rainbow uh, that they have uh, on their windowsill often and it moves around the house wherever they like it and they love it because they can take it apart and they can balance things on it and I generally drop it um, but we will be using the different colours of the rainbow 
um, to help us pray this morning. So let's, uh, let's pray. Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you that you have brought us safely to the beginning of this new day. Keep us from falling into sin or running into danger. Order us in all of our doings and guide us to do always what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And so we think initially there are clouds on the top of this rainbow. Um, and maybe we only ever see clouds in these situations. But as the wonderful Charlie Maxey has been sharing in many of his drawings, um, always above the clouds, the sunshine is there. And, uh, and we remember this with our rainbow as well. So red is at the top. We've got red and orange there, but we'll start with red. And we remember this morning and we pray for uh, fire and rescue services, for bravery and dedication and we thank you God for all those who save lives and property we pray for postal workers Lord God we thank you for their service for the way we have been able to order things online or by telephone and they have been delivered to us in a difficult time we thank you for all those who are doing that at this time and we thank you for all those who are still giving blood and all those who are supporting uh, those who are, are in hospital at the moment. We also pray as we remember the colour red for the Red Cross and all similar organisations who are supporting others at this time. And then orange, Lord God, we thank you for produce such as that that we've shared at Harvest recently, for oranges, for carrots, and for all those who produce what we buy maybe locally, but maybe we don't see who allows us to get it. We maybe buy a packet in a supermarket and don't think too far as to where it came from, but we thank you for all those farmers in this country and beyond who allow us to have food. And we pray for those who don't have enough. We thank you for the work of, of those who are trying to ensure that nobody goes hungry. Amen. Yellow at the top of this one reminds us of, uh, of paramedics in their yellow jackets. And we thank you for them as they go around supporting and um, allowing people to get care as soon as possible. We thank you for the warmth of the sun, although we don't see it this morning. We know it's there above those clouds and that sunny days will always be around the corner. And we pray yellow or gold for those who are... Uh, in charge of spending money for others, that you will bring them wisdom and ensure that we are not greedy. Amen. When we look at the colour green under there, it is there. If you're not colour blind like me, you can see it. We pray for all those who wear green um, as part of their uniform for, for doctors and nurses who wear that green. We pray for them at this difficult time, for patience and, and for um, energy for, uh, to be, to be re-energised in a time when they must be feeling so tired. And Lord God, we also pray when, pray when we see the colour green for our wonderful earth, for nature. And we pray as we continue to hear about the climate crisis, for all those making decisions based on what we do to our wonderful, beautiful world. And we pray, Lord God, that you will help each of us as individuals to make the right choices to keep that world safe. And then we come to blue and we think at this time 
as we have been of our wonderful NHS for all those medical staff, technicians, pharmacists, all those who work in hospitals. We pray for them at this time. We give thanks for our police force and for all who, who serve others. We pray for our armed forces, that they are able to be peacemakers throughout. And we also recognise that the colour blue is often linked to uh, depression, feeling blue. And so we pray for all of those who today are feeling blue, who are feeling depressed, who are feeling anxious. And we ask, Lord God, that you bring them peace and fill them with hope at this time. And we remember indigo and violets are all mixed in with this one. We pray for those who are leaders. We pray that they will be servants at this time to those who they lead. We pray for those whose nature is to be shy, maybe quiet, uncomplaining. And we pray that we value those. And we pray, Lord God, for those who mourn today. For those who have lost. We pray for families, friends of those who are no longer with us. Lord God, bring them comfort. And may they be filled with love. Amen. And so we pray for our friends, for those around us, and for those who we know need support at this time. We pray for Ella, for Alex, Mary and Graham. We pray for Meg and Raphael, for Sue, Andrew, for Kate, Archie, and Maya. We pray for Gemma, Graham, and Toby. Lord God, we pray for, pray for Clive, for Yvonne, and for Pat. For Janet, Martin, Mark, for Sam and family. And again, we pray for all those who are grieving the loss of loved ones. We pray for our village here in Kimber and Enville and all those places where each of us live. We pray for the doctors and for the shops and for all those who are struggling at this time. We pray for Jeff and family at a difficult time. And we pray for all those who are lonely. Lord God, we commend ourselves and all who we pray for to your mercy and protection. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful. Lift up all who are brought low, that we may rejoice in your comfort knowing that nothing can separate us from your love in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. So our collect for today, our prayer that brings us together. Heavenly Father, whose blessed Son was revealed to destroy the works of the devil and to make us the children of God and heirs of eternal life, grant that we, having this hope, may purify ourselves even as he is pure that when he shall appear in power and great glory, we may be made like him in his eternal and glorious kingdom, where he is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And so uniting our prayers with the whole company of heaven, we'll pray the Lord's Prayer as our Saviour taught us, in whatever form you feel most comfortable. And again, it being a Wednesday, I shall pray the children's version. Dear God, our Father in heaven, 
there is power in your name. We trust your ways from your kingdom in heaven all the way down to earth where we live. Please provide all we need today. Forgive our mistakes as we forgive those who make mistakes against us. Help us to make good choices and protect us from all that is evil. Everything we have and do is all for you. So everyone we meet will see you in us forever and ever. Amen. And so we pray that the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. And we'll say together, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. And so it's a great way to start a day in prayer together. And uh, it's going to be maybe not too chilly, but I'm slightly chilly in the conservatory, but I hope you have a wonderful day and um, you know, you're really blessed and you're able to take that hope, that, uh, that image of the rainbow and continue praying throughout the day for all those who we, uh, we know and love. So God bless you and um, I'll be praying with you tomorrow and I'll be back uh, leading prayer on Friday. So bye bye. <laughs>